God, thank you, Jesus, the place of worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. That that place of worship, you know, the psalmist said something like this, as the deer pants for streams of water, so pants my soul for you, O God. 
heard our souls just long for that place of worship. And the word says, if you draw nigh unto me, I'll draw nigh unto you. And we're blessing God in this place that as we draw unto him, as our soul thirsts for him, and we bless him because he said, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God, that those that thirst, my God, after righteousness shall be filled. And we bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Glory, glory that he's filling us in this place. That tonight in the church, uh, hallelujah, God will meet us at our point of need. At that place, that, that place in our soul where we thirst for him, where we long for him. Hallelujah. That place that need him on tonight. My God, that, that place. And that as we worship him. That we may worship him in, in, in spirit and in truth. And that as we worship him, uh, we get the healing. We are healed and we are delivered and we are set free. No more shackles, no more chains. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In this place of worship, where the glory of the Lord rise among us. We know that where there are two or three are gathered, sure, he's in the midst of us. Hey, And where the Spirit of the Lord is, surely there is liberty in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, that place of worship and that place of worship, anything that we ask for. Surely, surely, he provide unto us. My God, we want to welcome each and every last one of you to the In the Church TV and Radio Broadcast, where we are shining the light of God's word in the church to discuss and resolve real everyday issues that are taking place around the world exposing the good the bad and the ugly we're blessing god i am your host apostle deron shazorn with divine order restoration ministries international where we are restoring the order of God, one life, one body, one nation at a time. And we're getting ready to have an awesome, amazing, powerful time in the church on tonight. And I'm absolutely excited for the program that God has orchestrated just for you. We're blessing God in this place, in the church on tonight. And we just give him glory and honor in this place of worship as we gather on tonight around the world throughout the nation to hear what thus is saying the Lord in the church. Hallelujah. We magnify him. Hallelujah. We glorify him. Hallelujah. We lift him on high for he alone is worthy of our praise in the name of of Jesus glory 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 be unto God in the church on tonight amen God has a phenomenal program outline for us on tonight but before before amen we get engaged in our powerful conversation we surely got to go to the throne of grace amen so let us pray dynamic people of God father God we give you glory we lift your name on high you are worthy to be praised there is no one like you God you are the king of glory holy is you God we thank you father for your faithfulness and your dedication and which oh God that that you give to us each and every day. Father, we ask that you come and saturate the atmosphere, that you come and saturate, Lord God, uh, the network systems, oh God, that you come and saturate wherever we are around the world, throughout the nation, and touch the hearts and the minds of your people, God, so that we may receive what it is that you're releasing in the church on tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that even as we humble ourselves under your mighty hand, so that you may have your way in the church, God, that Lord God, that we, you may speak through our mouths uh, words of penetration and activation, oh God, to transform the minds and the hearts of your people, oh God, to rearrange, oh God, atmospheres to come into a line with your very word, oh God, that in which you have spoken for the love of the lives of your dear children, that tonight that your people are refreshed and renewed and refined in their very spirit, man, that they, oh God, is encouraged and empowered and equipped to 
be released, oh God, to move greater in your glory, that they are freed from every chain that have shackled them, that the, uh, the wall of hostility is destroyed, oh God, and Lord God, that you demolish, oh God, every stronghold that I held them in captivity, even every prison bar of their mind, that they are released right now in the majestic name of Jesus, uh, as you move, oh God, through this airway, through the Boshaya, through the broadcast, oh God, and speak life into your dear beloved children around the world, throughout the nations, in the majestic name of Jesus. God, we give you glory in this place. God, we magnify you in this place, in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory be unto your holy and righteous name, in the name of Jesus. My God, we give you glory, Father. We give you praise, and it is in the name of Jesus that we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My God, my God, our God is awesome in the church on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because he's getting ready to release. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. In your ear gates, for your ears, for your heart, a word of power, a word of activation, a word of transformation that's getting ready to set you on fire to move in the things in which God has called forth in your life. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, glory to God. As we get started on tonight, I want you to go ahead and share this broadcast, this broadcast on your social media platforms so that those that you know that they can come and they can get engaged with us on tonight. Hallelujah. So they can hear what it is that God is releasing. I'm going to get ready to talk about our topic for tonight and introduce we got a very powerful guest on tonight and to introduce our guest that's in the church with us i'm telling you dynamic people of god you don't want your friends or your family members to miss what it is that god is getting ready to talk about in the church on tonight in this conversation go ahead and share it in your social media your groups and things of that nature you can message somebody the link so that they can get in the church just Give them in the church.com. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So that they can meet us in the church and hear what God is releasing uh, so that lives can be saved and changed. Amen. And transform. And hallelujah. Glory to God. In the newness in Christ Jesus. For there is a word uh, from the Lord on tonight. And I am absolutely excited about it amen i believe that god is getting ready hallelujah thank you jesus to empower you that god is getting ready amen to release in the lives amen of everybody under the sound of our voices on tonight hallelujah you're getting ready to get a fresh wind amen and you're getting ready to soar to new heights to new dimensions in the very glory of god amen in the majestic name of jesus my god my god hallelujah thank you lord on tonight on tonight, um, like I said, we have a very dynamic, special guest with us. And I'm just absolutely excited that she have joined us on, on tonight. Amen. And we're, we're going to be talking about lifting the veil. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about it a little bit later. You know, after I introduce our very, very special guest. Amen. Um, she's been with us before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank God um, for her coming and accompanying us again on tonight. She is the founder, Vessel of Beauty for Ashes Ministries, which is dedicated to making disciples by biblically educating God's people through his word. It is her belief that nothing can heal you better than his truth. Beauty for Ashes Ministries' focus is to labor in bringing healing, deliverance and hope to God's people. The ministry hosts weekly Facebook live Bible studies on various spiritual growth topics along with a prayer call every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. She has 
been serving in ministry for over a decade and currently under the leadership of Senior Pastor Dr. E. Dewey Smith Jr. of House of Hope in Decatur, Georgia. She pours out her gifts and talents in the prison ministry, biblical, biblically teaching classes on anger management and substance abuse at Demas Charities in Atlanta, Georgia. She is a part of the new members intake ministry and the plug in ministry in addition to her service inside the wall of the church she has also completed cpe chaplain training at northside hospital here in atlanta within the women's services division she is the author of from god's lip to my heart from your spirit a collection of christian poems she is walking in her calling as a communicator of the gospel, intercessor, and voice of love to the broken. She possesses a BA in interpersonal communications from William Patterson University in Wyman, New Jersey, and a MBA in marketing from the University of Phoenix. She is currently pursuing a Master in Biblical Counseling and a Master of Divinity from Luther Rice Seminary in Lithonia, Georgia. She uses her gifts as a certified Georgia State Prison Chaplain, Federal Prison Chaplain, and a commissioned Stephen's Ministry as a lay counselor. I just want to reintroduce to the the church family and introduce to others none other than minister kaya a williams my god welcome to the church <laughs> in the church dynamic amen. woman of god <laughs> amen amen god bless everybody thank you apostle for allowing me to be on this wonderful broadcast you have been blessing people for years and i'm just honored to be here in your presence and the presence of your audience and just worshiping God with you and with our family abroad. Amen. Amen. We are elated to have you here with us again as well, dynamic woman of God. And I'm telling you, um, even as I was just looking over your bio and just reading the dynamic things, how God has just been using you through the earth, just, just mightily, um, glory to God, in, in much needed ministries, you know, um, to set the captives free. Amen. So I'm even further excited, hallelujah, about how God and what God is going to say and how God is going to speak in the church on tonight as he used you as a vessel. I am absolutely excited about that. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So thank you. Thank you. It is such an honor and a pleasure to have you with us in the church on tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You know, you guys, I told you guys, we are talking about lifting the veil. Amen. And this dynamic woman of God, she has a conference um, that, that's coming up and it's so tied in with what it is that we're going to talk about tonight. And, and for such a time as this, we are living in in, in a society, amen, that, that ha even though the veil has been torn apart, that it it seems as if that the people of God is living um, behind a veil, that they have a mask on and masking arrayed around at, at, at my living in places of bondage, living in a place of captivity. And for such a time as this, that God wants to see his people liberated. God wants to see his people set free. God wants to see his people uh, where their eyes, that eyes of the blind is open. Open. Amen. Glory to God. The ears of the deaf is open. Amen. That the deaf begin to hear and the, the, the blind begin to have sight. He is in a place where he's looking for the lame to begin to walk and the dead to rise physically as well as spiritually so in the majestic name of Jesus. And for such a time as this, if that 
what is going to begin to happen so that the body of Christ can be mobilized in the capacity that it needs to be and the glory of God can begin to rise up in the earth. Church, we got to take off the mask that we wear. We got to take the veil, amen, come from, uh, amen, remove the veil from before us so that we can begin uh, to allow the power of God to manifest in our lives. With these masks on that we are wearing, we're moving and operating in a form of godliness, but denying his power. And so he's saying to the church in this hour, let's take off the mask. Let's lift the veil. The veil was ripped. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that you can experience the power, the power and the glory of God manifest to manifest in your very life. My God, in the majestic name of Jesus, I'm excited. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, people of God, that'll stir up the atmosphere this uh, tonight. But before we get started, I, you know, I, I, I know you feel the excitement. I know that you feel the love and, and even now more than ever, you definitely want to get your Get those that you know in the church on tonight. We're going to have to go into a brief break. Amen. And so while we're taking this break, go ahead and, and, and get those that you know. Get those that you know in the church on tonight so they can hear what it is that God is releasing in the hearts and the minds of his people. Hallelujah. Because there is surely a blessing for you. Amen. And everybody that's connected to you on tonight in the church. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. We'll be right back in Jesus name. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. I am one of the redeemed. Not of any good that I have done or ever will do. I fall short each and every day. Your love for me way back on Calvary paid the price for me. You kept your hand on me when I tried to break free. I am redeemed from the hand of my enemy. Lord, I thank you for sending your own, your only son, for saving a wretch like me. You gave me life. For my mountain high, for my mountain high, my valley low, you've done so much for me, you didn't have to do it, Lord. Lord, I'm so glad you did. I am redeemed from the hand of my enemy, in whom we have redemption through your blood, the forgiveness of sin. According to the riches of his grace, one of mighty God I serve. As I look around, I see blessings overflowing, new mercy, new grace, each and every day. So unworthy, Lord, to even speak your name. A love that overwhelming, you died and rose to save a sinner like me. I am redeemed from the hand of my enemy. Lord, I thank you for sending your own, your only son, for saving a wretch like me. For my mountain high, my valley low, you've done so much for me, you didn't have to do it, Lord. Lord, I'm so glad you did. I am redeemed from the hand of my enemy. Psalms 107, verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. 
whom he has redeemed from the hand of my enemy. I've been given. I've been given because, because of the blood. Because of the blood. No rock will cry out in my place. No rock will cry out in my place. Let the redeemed say. I've been given this new I've been life. I've given this new life. Because of the blood. Because of your blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in this place. If you just refuse to let rocks cry out in your place, wherever you may be around the world, throughout the nation, go ahead and give him some glory. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give him some praise. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, because he is worthy, my God. Hallelujah. My my God, glory to God because he is majestic, because he is holy, because there is just no one like him. He is absolutely faithful to your very life. My God, he has been there for you and nobody else. When, hey my God, when you couldn't even believe in yourself, he was right there. Oh my God, rooting you on. He was right there loving on you. He was right there, my God. In the midst of it all, pulling you through, uh, my God, because he was not done with you yet, uh, in the name of Jesus. So we just bless God in this place. Hallelujah. We bless God in the church on tonight. So we do want to welcome each and every last one of you back to the In the Church TV and radio broadcast where we are shining the light of God's word in the church on the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hallelujah. So that we may know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Glory to God for such a time as this. It is time for the people of God to walk in truth, to walk in the power of God's word. And so tonight we're dealing with lifting the veil that we have in the church with us on tonight none other than minister kai williams the founder of beauty for ashes ministries amen in the majestic name of jesus uh, we're getting ready to have a powerful time in the church on tonight and so we're gonna set our foundational scripture for tonight amen and it's gonna come from second corinthians um chapter 3 chapter 3 starting at verse 16 and the word of the lord reads nevertheless when one turned to the lord the veil is taken away now the lord is the spirit and what the spirit of the lord is there is liberty 
But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God, my God, my God, hallelujah, my God, all I can think about, amen, even with think, looking at that scripture, my God, the oneness of God, the oneness in Christ Jesus, but we're going to talk about this lifting the veil, amen, glory to God, thank you, we're going to also discuss this this powerful conference that the woman of God have, have coming forth, amen, to help liberate God's people to help the children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, my God, destroy the mask and lift. Amen. The veil. Amen. Glory to God. The daughters, your daughters, your daughters are coming. Conference. Amen. Is is coming real soon. It is approaching us very, very quickly. And I just believe that there's some people in the earth around the world, throughout the nation that need to connect and be a part of of this amazing, amazing event. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, woman of God, let's talk about, amen, glory to God, this, this lifting of the veil and what the Spirit of the Lord is just speaking to you about his children when it comes to this veil, amen, the veil that is keeping us covered, keeping us, amen, from experiencing the glory and the power of God, amen. Yes, yes. Yes, when this conference is, is special and dear to my heart. Um, and when God started talking to me about when he, we started planning this together, I always say we, because it's, it's, it's a me and God thing. I'm like, well, what Amen, you, you sound like me. Amen. And, yeah, like, you know, I'm like, what do you want me to do, Lord? Because, you know, our flesh can get so far off. And so you have to sort of re keep realigning yourself. And with this conference, he said, I want my daughters to come and destroy this mask. We have our mask of despair. We have our mask of unfilled, unfulfilled dreams that hinder our progress. We have a mask that of, of brokenness, of wounded hearts. And so he said, I want to, that veil needs to be lifted because I want you in the presence of me. And we can come to God bare. I think sometimes we think we can put a mask on in front of God like he doesn't see us. And so God is saying, I see you for who you are, and I want to lift the veil of peace. I want you to have this connection to me, to come back to your first love. We have everything in our, in our, in our way as far as barriers that sometimes impede us to get into that holy of holy place. In this conference, and talking about the veil and destroying the mask, is coming to the God, coming to God free. You may come in there bonded, but God's going to set you free. He's going to break them chains. He's going to destroy that mask, and he's going to lift that veil high enough that you don't have to feel like you're trying to scoot under it. He's lifting it, and he's pulling out all of that hurt and pain within us that distracts us from his love. And so when I started thinking about this and just sort of sitting with God with the scripture, he was like, I need them to come. I'm going to unveil them. My daughters, I'm going to unveil them. And so, Lord, I, all I kept asking God was just point me in the right direction. Allow your glory to be manifested and allow your children, your daughters, to come to your throne and give you everything that they are. So bring your tears with you because we're going to destroy them. Bring your heartache. We're going to let God shift it away. There's a sifting that's coming. And he wants his daughters in the place where he can mend them and put them back together. So we're going to destroy that mask of pain that may be interrupting your love and your understanding or even hindering you and your faith to get back to God to where you used to be. This conference is a renewal. We're going to get back to our first love. And we're, we may have to come in there scratching and fighting through the, to that altar, trying to pull through everything that's holding us back. But we're going to get to that place with God just at his feet of worship. And we're going to destroy that mask. And we're going to lift that veil of faith and freedom. 
Amen. Faith and freedom. That's what this is all about. Increasing our faith and walking in our freedom. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's talk about this um, woman of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. You said quite a uh, quite a bit of things here. And with God desiring to remove the veil. Amen. Off of the faces of, of his daughters. And, you know, sometimes we can have a veil on or we can have a mask on that we... Mm-hmm. We don't even recognize that is there. And, you know, and we think that we are in a place of security. We think that we are walking in a, in a place of confidence. And I love it because you said, you know, we, we come before God. You said something very powerful. You said, you know, we come before God and, um, amen, and think that we can hide things from him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and God is an all-knowing God, right? Amen. Right, and, right. Um, amen. And He knows absolutely everything: our pain, our shame, amen, our hurt, our anguish, our discouragement. He knows absolutely everything. And so, I, I, I but as we dive into this conversation, because I, I want us to um, come to some dialogue on tonight, so that you know maybe those who may not understand or just may not know or may just you know, because sometimes the enemy, you know, he come and he can be very deceptive, right? Oh, and yeah. who just may just not know, who may feel that you know, no, I'm not masking anything, or I'm not, um, I'm not. I'm behind the veil, you know, no, I, you know, and, and be in this place of deception. So I want us to just begin to just let's deal with um, th- some of those barriers. What keep us in a and what, what causes us to be masked and um, what, what keep us in a place where we are behind the veil, keeping us from being blinded in our minds and and even bleeding, um, even bleeding in our hearts. My God. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because I, I, I heard you. you said, God said, I'm going to unveil you. Amen. According to God. And, and we're going to get, uh, we definitely going to deal with this unveil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But we want to first open up and just let the people know and to come to some understanding. Um, amen. That what are those barriers? What are the things that, that God, uh, God's looking um, to unveil in the lives of God, of his people? What are the barriers that are hindering the children of God from accessing the glory and the power of God. You know, the thing that first came to my mind is, and it's a, just a moment of transparency just for myself. You know, we think we've arrived. You know, oh, I've got it. You know, mm-hmm. me and God are good, and I, you know, do I, I can deal with this. And we get to a confident place that's really not based on foundation. We have to always evolve in our faith. And I think we get to a point where we think we've mastered it or we've gotten far enough. We've been serving God, walking with God long enough that they think, oh, I, I, you know, I have it. But their barriers is pain. Some people, some, some women, some daughters, they have gone through some really painful experiences in life. And all that pain builds up because you can't answer the question why. We've all been in areas in our lives where things have happened to us and we don't know why. And then we realize at some point that sort of put a dent in our faith, puts a barrier up between us and God, although we don't think we really see it. And it's not that God and the Holy Spirit really comes in to surgically start to transform our hearts, surgically starting to pull out those places in our hearts and in our souls that's wounded. We try to mask our wounds. Women, we're, 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 we are masters of it. We hide it. We try to be strong with it. Women, we, you know, we, are, we are everything to everybody, and there's sometimes nothing to ourselves. And we can do that with God where we're like, you know, Father, I, I, I thought I'd given you all of me. And if we continually understand, look at Paul. Paul said, I continually press towards the mark. We always have to keep in our hearts that we are continually striving because thus that barrier of pain or frustration 
or disappointment or despair, all of that builds up. That builds up in our hearts and our souls, and we sit back and we just, it's just like little boulders in our spirits. And then before you know it, you have a mountain of pain in your heart, and you can't move towards the altar because you're so weighted down. We have to get to the point where we're with God and we're taking that mask off and saying, I hurt. I hurt. I know people said I should be over it, but I hurt. That divorce hurt me. Losing that child hurt me. Losing that job hurt me. And being able to be free with God and saying, Lord, I need to take off all these masks that I put on for everybody else. So I can be beautiful to the world, but my heart is aching. We have to get to the point with God. And and there's a place that he had to take me to where I had to let go even more of my independence. God had to help me realize you're still depending on yourself and not me. That was a challenge for me. That was a mask for me. So many of us women, us, us daughters of God, we we have that independent streak in us. And we don't think anything of it. But the reality is you have to really take an internal look and say, am I depending on me or am I depending on God? Is my independence a barrier to me actually feeling the full experience of the Lord? Am I building this wall? between the Lord and I. The Lord doesn't have a wall with us. We're the ones who put these stipulations. How many of us women are like Gideon? Lord, I know you said you want me to do X, Y, and Z, but I need you to turn this little fleece over here wet and dry. Or I need some signs and wonders. When we get to the Lord and we can be bare, and we can, he can expose all those barriers that are separating us from him, a lot of what we built is where that freedom comes, that veil time. That's what I call it. You want to get to that veil time where you are face-to-face with God, and you can bear your soul in the midst of everything because in the face, face presence with the Lord, there can be no man. So when we start to identify through this conference our barriers, how we were, how we sort of birthed ourselves through brokenness, that's God. Brokenness can be a barrier, but it also can be a blessing. And that's what we want to talk about at this conference is just building women up and to say you can come bare here. And not allow the faces that you need to put on, that you feel you need to put on. You put on your mom face, you put on your wife face, you put on your sister face, your auntie face, your employee face. All of those are different barriers before God. Because who are you trying to be for the world? Are you really balancing that with who God wants you to be? Amen. You know, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, as you was just talking on woman of God, you know, I I was thinking about um, Genesis chapter three and I began, I would begin to think about um, Adam and and God and, and when God began to look for Adam and when, when he came and he was like, you know, um, Adam, you know, where are you? You know? Right. And he was looking for him and, and 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 he couldn't find him. You know, when they heard God coming, they went and hid, right? Mm-hmm. And um, you know, as as they went and hid and God began to call out, you know, where are you? And then when he finally came out, um, he said, You know, I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid, right? And right. so, you know, so many times, you know, we, we're like Adam and, and I, I, um, where we are, we're trying to hide our nakedness. And so he told him, he said, look, um, and God immediate response to him is just utterly amazing to me. He said, well, who told you that you were naked? And then he, the next thing he said, he said, he asked him another question. Have you eaten from the tree 
that I commanded you not to eat from. So I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Um, you know, some some trees that we should have not eaten from, it was forced on us to eat. Uh, it was forced on us to eat. But then there's some that we had ourselves. It just looked good to us, and, 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 and we took a bite of it. And because it, it, it looked good, even though it may not have been good for us. And and mm-hmm. because we, we took a bite of it and... Um, and, you know, and we got entangled in relationships that we should have never been involved in in the first place. And and these tainted relationships um, caused us to, you know, have anger and bitterness, whether it was a, a relationship where you was abused, you know, mentally and emotionally, psychologically, or even if you was abused physically. And, and you know, and out of this relationship, it, it, it may have, depression may have formed in your life and, um, you know, um, and, and anger. And, and for some people, you know, suicidal thoughts may have came up and some people may have acted on it and some people may have not. But, you know, through the anguish of it all, there's still some some healing that needs to take place that you need to come naked, you know, before God because of the residue or because of of, of the, the, the pain or the wound that you may have acquired from this broken relationship. Right. Uh, or I said broken relationship uh, uh, because of this relationship that you should have not entered in from the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, because you took the bite, you took the bait that the enemy set up and it caused some heartache and it caused some pain and, and it put you in a place and, and in a position. Here we go, cause, cause many of God's daughters, they desire to get married, um, woman of God. But the truth of the matter is that glory to God, like you said, they got to become unmasked. They got to lift up the veil so that the glory of God can come in and heal them and set them free. But because of illegal relationships that they had been in and because of the hurt and the pain and the confusion, you know, they're in a place where they really, you know, they desire the uh, the husband, but really on the deep, deep down on the inside, they're not in a place where they can really trust someone to really let them in inside of their heart. You know, they're, they're, they're really mm-hmm. not in a place where they are free to love again, free to love again without, without barriers of love, without the barriers of the pain of the past. Um, because of relationships that one should have never, ever entered in. And so they find themselves in places in their lives. And women, sometimes we go through these cycles. You know, women go through these cycles where, you know, they go from one illegal relationship to the next because they're still looking, they're still looking, and um, which they shouldn't be looking. And I think God is just calling, you know, for them to come into uh, the bridal chamber. Come into the chamber so that they can be healed from the brokenness of their heart. So they can really love again. So that they can trust again. So they can even believe in themselves. Because some of these relationships have caused low self-esteem. Has caused insecurities. Has caused lack of confidence in, 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 in the daughters of Zion. And it's just all forms of brokenness. My God, and I just believe that God wants to heal and set free and deliver. That's just one area. Oh my well, God! Well, they do, and I Go and ahead. I and I think you're totally correct. I, I think you're totally correct. As women, we are and have been. We deal with those insecurities. That's definitely a barrier. Low confidence, low self esteem. Those are areas in our lives that we have to address. And you're so correct that sometimes we try to find that wholeness in someone else and not in Jesus. Mm-hmm. There's no wholeness can be found in man. Amen. And I think that's the biggest challenge our daughters, our sisters run into because sometimes, and I've been there personally in my life, you know, before I really had a true relationship with our Lord, you're trying to find that, that, that empty space, fill that empty space mm-hmm. with a man with a child, with a job, with, with something else. But until you get to the point where you have truly accepted the Lord as your Savior and you have built a relationship, not knowledge of our Lord, but a relationship with God, you will always be empty. 
And that's where we have to get to when we're looking at these barriers. Is Yes, we can identify them, but we have to fill them with the grace of God. And when you start to fill them with his grace and his mercy and his understanding and his unconditional love and his faithfulness to us, those barriers start to disintegrate. But until we get to the point where we can let God see us for who we are and we can see us for who we are, because sometimes we're just disillusioned. We think we're somebody else. or We've adopted a persona of what somebody else thought we should be and never really identify who you really are. These are all barriers and masks that we come before God. But the beauty of our Lord is that he's not fooled by any of them. He is our creator. Like like in Jeremiah said, I knew you. I know who you are. I formed you. So you don't come to me thinking that you can put on this armor of what the people think around you. I already see you deep without any armor. And when you can come before the Lord bare and Lord saying, take everything away so I can see me, is where you start to hit the root of your challenges. You start to bust through those barriers. And God can start to lift that veil and say, come here to the holies of holies, the daughter that I created. So you are exactly right. We get in relationships outside of God. We've all, we've been there because we're trying to find love and connection and faith and in peace and wholeness in either a man or money. None of that will ever be able to soothe and fill that hole in your heart because it's not Christ that's knocking at the door. You haven't yet opened that door wide enough to let God in, to allow him to fill you up with his joy and his peace. When you already know as a young woman that your unconditional love by the Lord, it changes the way you walk. It changes the way you speak. And it will alter who you allow in your life. So when you continue to push through these barriers and allow God to identify them and destroy them, that's where you get to that place of the veil. So you don't have to feel like you're trying to scoot under it. You can walk with faith right through. Amen. And, you know, even with that faith, it comes with that with that place of trust. And that you said something very key. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where that relationship come in at. And so through your through your relationship in Amen, glory to God. We our relationship we we cannot treat our relationship with God the way that we treat our relationship with man or out of um, our relationships um, that we've had with man. And and sometimes and so many times we do. And so uh, we just let God in so far. And then um, you know those things that we don't want to deal with or those things that we want to suppress and and all those other type of things then we you know we hold on to those things and and we're like you know i i I got this here you know but god wants to deal with every issue every matter that's why i said cast your cares upon me you know because i care for you right and and he said so that you can be alert and, and sober minded because you're enemy is prowling around um um like a lion seeing who he can devour and so he put those particular texts together why people of god because you know it's those things that we don't deal with it's the very things that the enemy can come in and begin to devour us the very things that we don't give over to god that's his room that's his open door that that that's his legal that gives the enemy legal authority to come in and wreak havoc in our lives. And because it keeps us in a place where we are not sober minded. We're not sound in our mind. Because we're so distracted. You know by the things that we are weighted down with in the world. And so that's why I said we look. We got to give these things over to God. The other thing that you said and as you was talking. That was just very very vital. Um, and to just even to deal with strategies. Look she said look first you got to acknowledge truth. 
You gotta an, an, an acknowledge right. fact. You gotta let me let me go back. That you gotta acknowledge fact and receive truth. Amen. Um, because even as we and, and and no longer blame and no longer blame, you know, um, other people. Right, whether it was somebody that you was in a relationship with, or whether it was your mom, or whether it was your dad, or whatever it may be, and you know, and don't play, don't do the blame game, you know, um, because even in in being in that place of of holding blame to somebody else, it keeps us in a place of captivity. It it causes, it puts up, up, it puts that veil up. It it put the veil um between you and God. It calls you to be masked because. It keeps you in a world of excuses on why you behave and act the way that you act, right? And it keeps you in a place of pain. It keeps you in a place of agreement in your heart and your mind of what had taken place in your life. And so, it, again, it, it, and it allows the enemy at any given time that he so desire to come and pull strings to manipulate you, to deceive you, and, and things that to hinder you from moving in the greater things that God has called forth in your very life. And so I love it. We got to come before him and really, really acknowledge. You got to look. Acknowledge the fact. Yes, I, you know, this happened. This did happen, amen. And I said receive the truth because it, it is only the truth that's going to set us free. Amen. We got to right. be in a place where we are willing, we are willing to receive the truth. What is the truth? The truth of God's word. You know, he, he tell us in the book of, he said, says in the book of John, sanctify them in your word. Right. Amen. Glory to God. And so mm -hmm. we got to begin to, to receive this word of truth, which is the word of God, which is pure. Which were it is the word of God that will that washes us, Amen. It washes washes us from from all unrighteousness. It washes away the hurt. It washes away the pain. It washes away the the um the shame and the anguish and the disappointment and the rejection and all those things alike. But we got to be open to receive, and that's part of coming before God, just being naked before Him, so that you can receive the truth acknowledge and uh, and let me say this because god already knows it's it's not nothing that he right. is unaware of again because he's all-knowing he's aware but he need for you your acknowledgement of it and of what it is and he need for you to desire to give it over to him so that he can deal with it because he is a gentleman. He's not going to take anything from you. And I love it. I'm thinking about even Abraham right now. Amen. I'm um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When he told him, look, you will hail nothing from me. And God is looking for us to withhold nothing from him. And because he withheld nothing from him, God, amen, glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. Um, began to reiterate his promise. Amen. He sealed the promise um, that he gave to Abraham about being father of many nations, have many descendants as far as as, as many, many as the stars that you can see as more numerous as the, the sand um, on the, the sand. And so therefore, amen, glory to God, because God, he came to a point in his life where God understood that Abraham had so much faith in him that he was willing to which withhold nothing from him, people of God. And so we have to be like Abraham, you know, uh, and look at his example, even with being the father of faith, who was even willing to sacrifice his promise, sacrifice his promise. Amen. The promised child, the promised seed, um, glory to God, knowing that God was faithful, that God said it, then it was going to manifest in his very life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We're going to take a break. You know, we are definitely engaging in powerful conversation in the church. We're talking about um, the, your daughters are coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your daughters are coming. Amen. Um, <laughs> hallelujah. And I don't know, but my mind is just here. But your daughters are coming. Destroying the mask. Lifting the veil conference that is taking place it is going to take place september the 8th um 2023 
2018. And when we come back from break, we're going to give you more information about it. We're just coming into a little dialogue as we're talking about lifting the veil in the church. But I'm telling you, this dynamic conference that is being held by Kaya A. William, minister, amen, this powerful, dynamic woman of God who is the host and founder of Beauty for Ashes Ministries. I'm telling you, God has put together and orchestrated a dynamic conference just for you. And when we come back off break, we're going to give you more information on how to connect. And amen, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And then we're going to also dive just a little bit further in this conversation um, as well. And we'll talk a little bit more about what all that God is doing right here and right here, right here in the Atlanta and surrounding areas for his people. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, we will be right back in the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You just gotta hold on. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, we thank God in this place that his word will not turn back until him void, that it shall accomplish in our lives what he sent it forth to do. You know that he is a healer. He said, I send thy word to heal thee. My God, in the name of Jesus, we bless God in this place that he healed the brokenhearted and he had bind up their wounds. My God, in the majestic name of Jesus, we bless God in this place because his word said that we shall live and not die and declare his works amen in the majestic name of jesus and we can just trust him and believe him he says so many awesome and amazing things in his word like we are so fearfully and wonderfully made my god hallelujah we are flawless because we are the spoken word of god we just bless god in this place man god for all the words all the great and mighty things that that he has spoken amen hallelujah and that he is determined in his heart as he governs his word that they shall not come back to him void that they shall accomplish and perform the very a uh, word in which he has sent it forth to do it shall perform amen and do exactly what he sent it forth to do my god in the majestic name of jesus i do want to welcome you back to the in the church tv and radio broadcast i want to welcome you africa thank you for joining us in the church on tonight asia thank you for being in the church we bless god for you amen hallelujah south america is in the church thank god bless you bless you brazil we bless you on tonight japan we bless god for you in the name of jesus australia is in the church on tonight we thank god of course north america amen our home amen glory to god are definitely with us on tonight and we just thank god for each and every last one of you we thank god for you guys sharing this broadcast on your social media platforms and you send it out to those who you know and you love so that they can connect in this powerful conversation also for those who would like and can who would like to my god get in um and, and and have questions and any answers have any questions comments or prayer requests on tonight you can dial into the studio at 563-999-1824 again that number is 563-999-1824 and when we open up the lines amen glory to god we will just definitely receive you in the church on tonight and answer any questions amen receive your comments and definitely pray for you in the majestic name of jesus we're just loving each and every last one of you guys in the church on tonight in the name of jesus also um hallelujah glory glory to god thank you jesus also um miss miss um my god Je dr jennifer Boyer. if you are on the studio line just do me a favor and hit star six for me hit star six amen it's gonna bring you right over in the queue it's gonna bring you right over in the queue so that you can join us amen in this powerful powerful conversation we're gonna um, pause for the moment and and have some dialogue about this amazing conference that is coming up on September the 8th where lives are going to be changed and transformed for the glory of God amen um, it is being hosted by the beauty for ashes ministries um, founder minister Kaya a Williams amen and it's going down it's going down um, on September the 8th amen and God is gonna do some great things at your daughters are coming destroying the mask lifting the veil conference renew refresh and release 
the new you. Amen. In Jesus' name. So, Kaya, uh, Minister William, let's talk about this conference for a moment here. Let let our audience know. Amen. Um, glory to God. What God is saying and um, what God is doing and why this release and why now? Well, this conference, I guess I need to start and give you a little history for it. Go ahead. Um, last year, when I uh, God sort of released me to start Beauty for Ashes Ministries, um, it started actually with a prayer a prayer meeting at my home. Um, he designated a certain amount of people to come. He was very or, he was very specific, and so we had our prayer meeting. The Lord showed up, and it was just awesome. But after the meeting, I kept hearing him say, "Your daughters are coming. Your daughters are coming." And I kept asking the Lord, I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> you know, sometimes I can talk to you, you just can't quite catch what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And so he kept saying it. And, um, and I said, Lord, I don't understand. I need you. I need, I need more. And one day he just sort of showed me this vision of women coming to the throne of grace. He was like, my daughters are coming. And it was like a joyful, gleeful kind of feeling inside of me. And he said, you're going to summon them. And I that's where this conference came from. So last year, the very first conference was your daughters are becoming new beginning, new birth. And so this is the second conference. Every second Saturday in September is what God gave me as the date and the time. This, birth, this conference, your daughters are coming, destroying the mask, lifting the veil. It's a time for us women to get together and to let God be God. This is the time to take off all the bags of life, take off the mask, take off the coat, take off all the things that's covering us up and allow us to be there before God. And so the Lord has graced me with some beautiful sisters in ministry, and definitely including yourself, Apostle. I, I completely admire you and the work you're doing for the Lord. And Dr. Byer, who's a lawyer, is coming on. She's one of my facilitators for the workshop, and I'm going to let her introduce herself once she gets on. But it's about her conference, or her, so her workshop is called The Butterfly Effect, talking about that transformation in God and being able to walk when you know when you experience God you can't remain the same you just can't Amen. and so talking about and being able to say Lord I need to be transformed I need to be able to do what you want me to do and so that's what Dr. Boyer was talking about and then I have Reverend uh, Stewart Yolanda Stewart she is going to be talking about her workshop is called birthing through brokenness and when you hear her testimony, you, it's something that you wouldn't even imagine. But looking at her now, she's a psychotherapist, and then looking at what God has done with her life, that barrier of what God had her experience could have broken her and could have destroyed her. But instead of allowing that to destroy her, her testimony, and things that happened in her life, she used it as a catalyst to be the woman of God that she is. So it's, it's a, a conference of walking us through those different areas of our lives. Then I have Evangelist Patty uh, McGrew. When I tell you this woman of God is absolutely awesome, and she walks in the spirit like no other, she's going to talk to us about that power behind the veil. That's her area of workshop. And then I'm going to follow up at the end, and the workshop is called The Rebuilding. So we're going to talk about those areas in our lives where things have changed and challenged us and put barriers before us. We're going to talk about being transformed and renewed. We're going to talk about not allowing brokenness to hinder our walk with God. And then we're going to rebuild ourselves with the Lord's help and come out of there refreshed and renewed daughters of the king. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we see, she definitely got a dynamic lineup. Amen. A dynamic lineup ready 
for God's people. Um, but, but before I go any further, I, I want to you woman of God to tell the people how can they connect? How can they um, become a part? How can they get in the building to be a part of the release that God is getting ready to do? You can also give them the date again and if they need to register, where to go register, where the location would be, all of that great and awesome information as well. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see all of you in the building. God is going to move. Uh, the conference is September 8th. It's a Saturday, so you can free your weekend up now. It's after Labor Day, so you got time. Um, you can register on eventsprite.com. It's $25, a very nominal fee. I am going to provide lunch for you all and some snacks in between. We're going to have all day. So we're going to open up. We're going to have us a worship service just to stir up the atmosphere. It's going to be held at Hurt Road Baptist Church in Smyrna, Georgia. Hurt Road Baptist Church in Smyrna, Georgia. But you can reach me via Facebook. I have a web page, it's Beauty for Ashes Ministries, or I have a personal page as well. My name is just Kai, K A I Williams. I definitely will inbox you back. Um, you can register, like I said, on Eventbrite. All the information is there. You can see what the workshops are, you'll see the flyer of the speakers. And everything will be right there for you. So it's September 8th. It's going to start at 8 a.m. We'll also have vendors on site. So go ahead and bring your, bring your card and come get some beautiful stuff. We have different things from jewelry to purses to authors that are coming to share what God has given them, their gift and talents as well. So I cannot wait to see you. And I pray that you can come and just experience the glory of the Lord as we just wait for God to come in and show out and do what he can only do, which is set us all free. And I pray you all can make it out here uh, to Amen. join you if you're in the area. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So you guys definitely, definitely come out. You know, if you're in the Atlanta or area or region, area or surrounding cities and counties surrounding cities and counties we definitely want you to come and just be a part of the beauty for ashes ministries conference that they're holding your daughters are coming destroying the mass lifting the veil conference renew refresh and release the new you she said it's september the 8th 2018 um amen and starting at eight o'clock a.m sharp a.m sharp at hertz road baptist church 17 Hurt Road, hmm, Tabo Southwest, my God, just drop some in my spirit. Amen. Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. My God, glory, glory, glory to God. We just bless God in this place. So, amen. Um, um, Miss Boyer, if you're on the line, just come on and go forth. The line is, is open up, unmuted. Everyone, a woman of God, thank you, Jesus. Jennifer, you on there? She said she doesn't hear anything but music. Um, she, she's on the, she's on the, she's not on the right line. Glory to God, she's, thank you, uh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. We just bless God in this place. Amen. Um, glory to God. As we are talking about your daughters are coming, I'm destroying the mask and lifting the veil conference. Conference that is definitely taking place and um Smyrna, Georgia, just right up the street from Atlanta, um, Georgia. Amen. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. Kai, if you can just call her in in and mute and merge her in from your line, that will work. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're okay. talking about 
lifting the veil. Amen. We're talking about lifting the veil and the veil needs to be lifted. And, and the reason why the veil needs to be lifted for God's dear beloved children so that they can walk in so that we can begin to walk in the power of God and the fullness of God's word. Amen. For our very lives, no longer hindered, no longer changed, no longer bound, no longer in state and places of confusion. Amen. Um, glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. And so for such a time as this, God is sending out a message and I'm just telling you, it is so, um, in line with what God is doing and what God is releasing because about a month ago, uh, Amen. He released in our belly. He released in our belly um, to to release. Um, we're gonna do. We're doing a whole series. Amen. And I don't know how long the series is going to last, but all I do know is my daddy said release it, and so we, we're releasing the um, the unmasking series, and um, we are masking everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We're gonna I'm um, doing the unmasking series in the church, and we're just gonna be talking about everything imaginable that is taking place, um, keeping um, God's people from moving in operating in the glory of God and in the power of God, dealing with things that are hindering the church at large, that are hindering individuals, amen, um, glory to God, from being set free and delivered. If you name it, I can absolutely almost promise you we're going to deal with it and we're going to deal with it very thoroughly in truth because it is time that we know the truth so that we can be set free, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus. Uh, Dr. Boyers, are you with us, dynamic woman of God? Amen. I think I heard you. Amen. But if I, I did, you, 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 you a little low. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. This is what we're going to do, people of God. Amen. Well, we try to get Dr. Boyers here with us in the church on tonight. We're going to go ahead and take a break. We're going to take a break. We're real briefly, briefly. Amen. So we can get the dynamic woman of God connected with us so that you can hear what it is that God Amen. is releasing. Amen. Are you with us? Yeah, absolutely, I am. Thank you, oh, sister. Well, glory to God. We glad that you are connected, that you are in the church. Absolutely. Woman of God, we want to welcome you to Thank the In the Church so TV and Radio much. broadcast. Hey, Amen. Thank you so much. I, I've been, I've been, I am just absolutely in the praise and worship mode. Just being here and hearing the how you coming forth with God's word. And as you said earlier, we are getting prepared. For our daughters are coming and I want to tell every listener out there today that this is absolutely a life-changing experience that you want to be a part of because God is going to be there he is orchestrating everything that is coming forth today and we're just going to praise him in a festive mode but you're going to leave there with guidance that's going to allow you to unbreak release Everything that's hindering you from going to your next level, because oftentimes in life, we already have everything that God has equipped us with, but we have these barriers that the world has laid on us. So we get ready to release, we get ready to be restored, and we get ready to go to our next level. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Woman of God, can you just go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit, um, Dr. Borges? You know, you just been hearing from this dynamic woman of God, so we do want to let you properly get some information about her, and she is one of the dynamic facilitators that God is using doing this release. Amen. Glory to God. Absolutely. So can you just give us a little bit more about you, woman of God? Yes. Okay. My name is Dr. Jennifer Boyer. I am an author, speaker, advocate for youth. And I am a woman empowerment speaker, and I go by the name of Miss Empowerment. And ultimately, my, my responsibility that God has given me to empower women to release the veil, to go to their next level, to unlock themselves. This is what I do each and every day. As a matter of fact, oftentimes when I teach and preach on my platform, it's only based on what God's principles 
in my experiences through life. So I'm a little mature, <laughs> and so I can go back and I can pull out all those life lessons and I can put it on my platform and I can teach and preach and ignite the fire within God's people. Because oftentimes in life, we experience things, but we look at, like you said before, we look at fear, we look at failure, we look at all those things in a negative perspective, but all those things are what's building us to be the great people that God has created us to be. If we can identify the lesson through it all and then apply that to our purpose, Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, as she was talking, the only thing that I could think about was I could just hear Joseph over in the book of Genesis say, you meant it for evil against me. Yes. Oh, my God. But God meant it for my good. And, and in order yes. to, 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 so that lives can be saved, in order to bring it about as it is this day. Oh, my God. <laughs> as yes, it is this absolutely. day to save many people lives i'm telling you glory to god thank you jesus so amen what what the enemy meant for your bad and uh, what that situation and that suffering god meant it for your good it was it is a place people yeah. of god and i tell you all the time it wasn't there to break you amen you didn't go to that thing so that you can be broken but so that you can be blessed amen you you, you didn't yeah. go in the situation amen to be depressed but it was to develop you in in the glory of god if if you could just bring yourself to a place amen and hallelujah you can just trust him and believe in him and let him show you the true purpose behind every situation every circumstance that you have been in every second of your life yeah. is god intentional amen if, if you can just grab on to that was god intentional it, it was very intentional by god as he was preparing you and prepping yeah. you for the greatness to be released out of you amen glory to god he had to take you through yeah. some things some trials and some tribulations um hallelujah to develop you in the very thing um that is called forth in your life she said life experience oh my god it, it's nothing <laughs> like having someone with life experience to walk you through some things that you have been through a man who been there done that got the t-shirt to wear it and who can on top of that talk about a god that saves a god that delivers a, a god that empower a god that set you free my god in the uh man i'm Amen. How did I see y'all? My God, in the name of Jesus, see, they gonna get me started on tonight. You better come on, Jesus. Get me started on tonight, my God. Hallelujah, my. Y'all gotta get to this conference. Oh, because the daughters are coming. We about to break them shackles. Look, September eighth is what eight is the number of new beginnings. Come on, we about to let some God about to set you free today you better come on and don't play with the lord ah in the name of jesus <laughs> amen destroying the mask and lifting the veil hallelujah amen. it's time to walk in that power um and that dominion and authority that god has given unto you amen in the name of jesus my god my amen. god my god glory be unto god mm -hmm. in the church on tonight amen oh amen. my god we gotta let him into those void places Hallelujah, glory to God, you. you know, the spirit oh, yeah. of the true living God. He's just hovering over the void places, just waiting on permission to come in. And I love about it, amen, when we just allow him in and allow his word to come in. And amen, he said, let there be light, amen. And we know yeah. that when he said, let there be light, things begin to form and things begin to transform mm -hmm. and things begin to develop. And that's the thing, same thing that God want to do in your life. You guys got to get to your daughters are coming, destroying the mask, lifting the veil, comfort renew refresh and release the new you amen glory to god she said she just prophetically spoke into your life she said amen glory to god it's about to be a new beginning you're getting ready to amen. close the chapter of pain and close the chapter of hurt and close the chapter of confusion and close the chapter oh my god of abuse and close the, all the chapters that's been hindering you from moving in the glory of god and you're yeah. getting ready to open up this new page of life a place that you have never walked in but in this place of freedom yes. oh my god Hallelujah. as you just believe and oh, have god. faith it's in god glory. you're getting ready to move to new realms and new dimensions in the glory that god has called forth in your very 
in life. You about to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Y'all better hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm going to give it over to you, woman of God, because y'all going to make me preach tonight. <laughs> Amen. Look, I'm sitting here with my hands up, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna make me preach tonight. Oh my I, God. I am praising the Lord because that's exactly what God is going to do. And I thank you for speaking prophetically over these women that are coming. Because he's drawing his daughters. He's like, I'm going I'm going to get you. He's summoning them. And so when we get together and we get to praise God and let God loose in there, we're gonna see a whole new person. So if you're ready to get those shackles broken, if you're ready to come in and say, yes, Lord, for real, and you're not playing, when you're ready to get to before the Lord and bow down to him and worship him, that's all this is about, is bringing those daughters together to let loose in God and let God break you free. That's what this is about, destroying anything that's coming against your relationship with God, destroying everything that's trying to impede your progress of faith, making sure that you are able to walk into the holies of holies and bow down before God and bow down before that mercy seat saying, Lord, I surrender all to you. That's what we're coming to do. We're going to surrender everything that we have, and then we're going to rebuild you up and send you right back out into the field as a soldier for Christ, yeah. armored up and ready for battle. That's what this conference on September 8th is about. The simple cost of $25. That's all it costs to come in and really let God do what he is going to surgically do to all of us because we all need it. We all need him. So when you allow yourself to say, I surrender all to you, Lord, then everything you have is when you destroy those masks and let him set you free. Amen. Glory yes, to God. God. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, I just feel the I feel the fire of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tonight. Amen. I'm trying oh, to contain myself over here. I amen. Glory <laughs> to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just feel the fire of God and just the just the move of God. Amen. Right here now in, in this place. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And she talked about, she said, look, it's just an investment. It's, it's an investment. Amen. Registration is an investment of just $25. That is nothing. That is nothing compared, amen, to what's getting ready to be released in your life. $25 is going to save you, amen, glory to God, um, uh, more than you can even begin to imagine because now you ain't going to have to eat food for comfort. Now you ain't going to have to go and buy things to, to make you feel better because you're going to, or to build your confidence for that little while to continue to go and buy something else. You ain't going to have to spend your money on, you know, making other things um, rich and wealthy, trying to make yourself feel, feel beautiful, amen, because when you come out of this conference, you're gonna you're gonna be beautiful from the inside out. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You're gonna that investment, that investment is is way worth, way worth. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, of, of what you would truly save over a lifetime, and most importantly, what's gonna transform in your very life where you can begin to walk in the power uh, uh, of God where no more shackles, no more chain, just totally free to be everything that he's called for for you to be no longer wandering, no longer doubting, no more, no more wavering, trying to figure out if it's so, if it's true for your very life, knowing that yes, he's knowing that he's called you. Amen. Glory to God. Just like she mentioned before, she mentioned one of my favorite Jeremiah, where he said, I knew you, I, I, I know you, right? He said, I know you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, amen. From, from the wound. And so that as he called, you for if you know Isaiah he said Isaiah said he called me by name amen out of the wound of my mother and I just believe some women is coming out of this conference amen Lord are you coming out as he called you to be amen Lord from the wound of your mother you coming out 
free, set free. Amen. You're coming out alive on fire for God. You're coming out, amen, as the teacher, as the preacher, as the apostle, the prophet. You're coming out as the author, the entrepreneur. You're coming out in whatever it is that he's called for for you to be as the psalmist. And he's call, you're coming out whatever it is that he called for for you to be because he has anointed and appointed each of us for such a time as this to move and operate in the earth, amen, for a specific purpose. And you're coming out moving and operating in your purpose, moving and operating in your destiny, amen, moving and operating in the new creation that you are in Christ Jesus, broken free from the old because the new have arrived. I believe some women is coming out on fire because they're going to be able to perceive the new thing that God is doing in their very lives. I just believe, amen, it's going to cause dry bones to begin to live again. My God, in the name of Jesus, in the places where you have been barren, I just believe in, in my spirit spirit man my god in the name of jesus that you're getting ready amen to give birth that you're getting ready to flourish in your places of, of barrenness that even where the wound has been shed up that you're getting ready to birth the very thing which god has called forth in your life my god in the majestic name of jesus i just believe in this place my god as you meet uh glory to god the beautiful actions ministries and 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 on september the 8th and what God is releasing in that place for the daughters of Zion. My God, as you guys, hallelujah, come naked before God. My God, my God, my God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, you're coming out fresh. You're coming out renewed. You're coming out in his glory and full of his power. My God, in the majestic name of Jesus. Yeah, we got to take a break in the church on tonight. But we're going to come back. And when we're going to come back, we are going to open up the lines for God's people. You can go ahead. If you're already on the line, you can go ahead and match star six. If you have comments, questions, or a prayer request, you can hit star six. And it'll go ahead and bring you in the queue. And when we come back, amen, we're going to have a little bit more conversation. But then we're going to definitely call you forth. Amen. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus, in the very order that you are in the queue. For those who desire to call in, amen, with your questions, come in a prayer request, you can dial 563-999-1824. If you're listening through Facebook or um, in the In the Church TV and, and radio, the In the Church.com website, amen, you can definitely put your comments right there and we will, uh, your prayer request, and we will um, speak it live amen over the air and we will answer any questions that you may have and also um lift you up before the throne of grace and release any comments that you may have as well also those that are on the speaker platform if you're on any other platforms you will need to get to one of um the four mentioned platforms to leave a question comment or prayer request amen in the majestic name of jesus uh, uh, we will be right back and i know we only have a little bit more while here in the church but you still can share it because i you know somebody that need this message on tonight amen in the majestic name of jesus my god we just bless god in this place in jesus name
the deaf will hear again, the lame will walk, the dumb will speak in that name. Oh, in the name, no ocean too wide or too deep. His name commands authority, and in his name, and he conquers the death of the grave. Glory be unto God in the church on tonight. Yes, there is power in the name of Jesus. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Amen. Of those in heaven and on the the earth. Amen. And those that's under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. They flee, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus. And I don't know what it is that you're dealing with, amen, glory to God, what your circumstances may be, but what I do know that at the name of Jesus, it got to go. It can just not dwell in you, upon you, or even around you in your atmosphere. My God, in the majestic name of Jesus, you just got to have faith enough to believe, and it will be so in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in the church on tonight. We want to welcome you back to the In the Church TV and Radio broadcast. I am your host, um, Apostle Deron Shay Zorn, and we have live in the studio with us on tonight uh, none other than Minister Kaya A. Williams, the host and the founder of Beauty for Ashes ministries. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And she is hosting a conference called Your Daughters Are Coming, Destroying the Mass, Lifting the Veil Conference, Renew, Refresh, and Release the New You on September the 8th, um, 2018 at 8, starting at 8 o'clock a.m. at Hurt Road Baptist Abbeshire Church, my God, at 17 Hurt Road Southwest, Smyrna, Georgia, 3008. 
eight two, and we also have with us none other than Dr. Jennifer Boria, a man, author, motivational speaker, and minister of dance. She is Miss Empowerment herself. My God, in the church with us on tonight, and we're just absolutely excited about it amen in the majestic name of jesus we have been talking about lifting the veil oh my jesus hallelujah glory to god in the church on tonight so for those again who is on the line who is in on the line in the studio line if you can match star six if you desire you have a question if you have a comment Or even if you have a prayer request, a prayer request, amen, glory to God, you can hit star six and it will bring you up in the queue. It'll bring you up in the queue and amen. And we will um, bring you forth. Amen. We will bring you forth live on the air. I am also checking our other platforms, the Facebook, the In the Church website um, as well. um, And on the, the Facebook platform, under the in the church um page amen and under this particular broadcast amen i should have told you guys that under this particular broadcast amen um that is out there on the page i'm um, glory to god thank you jesus and in addition to the speaker platform those are the three that we are dealing with amen um that we are answering on tonight or if you call directly into the studio again for those in the studio start six and we will pull you over in the queue amen and and answer um any questions that you may have receive any comments that you may have about tonight's show and as well amen any prayer requests that you may have glory to god thank you jesus so in the meantime while we're waiting um kaya i want to um open up the platform so that you can give out um any information let the people know how to connect with you and um outside of this conference things that you are doing that they can connect with you on other platforms that god is just using you amen in the beauty for ashes ministry movement amen amen thank you so much for allowing me to share this information First and foremost, I do want you all to know that Beauty for Ashes Ministries, we have a weekly prayer call. Uh, We're on the line every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. So please feel free to give us a call. I'm going to give you that number. Go ahead and get you a pen real quick. The the number is 641-715-0632. That number again is 641-715-0632, and our access code is 946-973, 946-973. And again, we're on that line every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also follow me on Facebook with Be for Ashes Ministries. I also have an Instagram account, and that's Beauty, the number four, Ashes for Ministry. And I also have a Twitter account, which is Beauty for Ashes. And you can contact me either way, and I will definitely respond back to you. Um, I also have on my Beauty for Ashes Ministries Facebook page, I also do Facebook Live Bible studies, and so I'm about to start a new one uh, called the Discerning the Voice of God, and that's a book by Priscilla Schreier. If you know anything about Priscilla Schreier, you know she is an awesome woman of God. Um, To put her in perspective, if you're trying to figure out who she is, she played the wife in War Room, but she is a preacher to her heart, and this is her study. And so I'm going to be doing that study via Facebook Live uh, starting on September 9th at 7 p.m. every Sunday night. So you can go to Amazon, get your own book, and follow along with me. But we will be walking through that study called Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Schreier starting September 9th at 7 p.m. via Facebook Live. 
Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Again, we have been just really, really diving in and, and just talking about um, lifting the veil. Lifting the veil. Amen. And um, even as it coincides with the Woman of God Conference, and I'm telling you, um, I, I just, I know that I know that I know, amen, glory to God, that the Woman of God is just walking and, and, and moving in the prophetic voice of God when it comes to um, destroying the mask and, and lifting the veil um, from the daughters of Zion because he that clarion call um, God has released, amen, for the body of Christ at large as well, amen, um, glory to God, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, and so amen, you want to be um, in a place where, where God is moving and you want to be in a place where the prophetic voice of God is going forth, amen, um, glory to God, because we know as he released the sound amen and for those that obey and those that have an ear to hear the spirit of the true living god that surely my god in in the name of jesus that he will amen a um, move and release amen in your life he would do exactly what it is that he has brought that call forth to do in your very life amen in the majestic name of jesus again those um that are on the call that are in the studio amen and, and i'm and i'm hoping that that everything is well um with the controls tonight amen as i was doing some stuff earlier glory to god but if you could just match star six amen if you have any questions comments or prayer request amen on tonight um about you know anything amen um glory to god that you need prayer for that you're looking for someone to touch and agree with you in the majestic name of jesus we definitely definitely would love to do that we know that one can put a thousand to flight but two can put ten thousand to flight we know amen glory to god wherever we touch and agree on in the name of jesus that it's just going to be done amen on our behalf and we just want to touch and agree with you hallelujah that the glory of god the power of god the word of god just manifests in your very life amen in the majestic name of jesus glory to god i'm telling you guys i am absolutely i'm excited i'm trying to keep my spirit come amen um hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god because of the release of god i'm just telling you amen it's going to be absolutely powerful um so kaya or uh, miss um kaya is there or let me start with um dr jennifer first amen is there any last particular things that you would like to speak um to the listeners on on tonight and then kaya i'm going to get over um to you after absolutely. Um, dr jennifer amen Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, I we are so elated about this event. Everything you said tonight, I just concur that if you are a leader, if you are a mother, you feel a daughter, if you are just looking to go to your next level, the minimum amount of $25 is the least you can do to invest in yourself because you're going to leave there a changed individual. One of the things that I know that I do on my platform that's already spirit led god uses me in such an amazing way to pour into his people to allow them to understand the steps the action steps they need to take in order to break the veil in order to break those barriers that are in our lives that are preventing us from displaying our greatness you need to be there you owe it to yourself a lot of times we're doing ourselves a disservice for not stepping to our next level and what I mean is that all of us are great people, but how can we be, become greater so that we can see the changes that need to come forth in our community, so that we can see the changes that need to come forth in our family, so that we can receive the changes that need to come forth in this world. Your next level is waiting on you. God has already ordained, as you said before in Jeremiah 29, 11, I already know the plans that I have for you. He is just waiting on you to take the action steps that you need to take to go there. So you we need to be a part of this this event. And I welcome and I look forward to it. 
Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jennifer. Glory to God. Akaya, is there any last minutes, many words that you want to release to the people on tonight? I just want every woman that can hear my voice that may be standing in that dark place, Mm. searching for God. I want you to know that he's there. When we're destroying our masks, Mm. sometimes that's a dark place. But I promise you, there is no place you have ever been in your life that God can't come in and show out. This conference is for that moment, for that dark place. I don't care if you have to crawl your way through the door. Mm. I don't care if you need to be like that man. He had friends to lower him down into the, the, the mm. in front of Jesus because he needed to get there. If you know a sister in need of a breakthrough, of a refreshing, of a renewal, bring her to this conference. If you know a sister that is down and out and she just needs to hear from God, bring her to this conference. This is like no other gathering. I have prayed to God that this will never be a routine gathering of his daughters. Every time we get together, I ask God to show himself mightily to us. So my prayer is that if you come broken, and wounded. He is going to mend you. He is going to rebuild you. He is going to transform you. One of the things we had a guest pastor at my church on Sunday, and I wrote this down. He said, God will allow you to live on the level you choose. Don't choose to live beneath the glory of God. You choose to strive further and harder, press toward the mark of who God has called you to be. And one of your steps is coming to the Your Daughters Are Coming Conference and allowing God to break that mask and lift the veil into freedom. Don't allow the enemy to hold you from your freedom because we have to push through says we got to fight for it. Freedom is all, isn't always easy. But when you come with your heart and you surrender everything you have to God, you're more powerful than you can ever imagine. Come to the conference September 8th here in Georgia, Smyrna, Georgia. You can get your tickets on eventbrite.com. You can see the workshops. You've already heard one of our dynamic speakers, Dr. Boyer. She is awesome. And what she's going to pour into you, you will never be the same. I look to see you all there as we all enter that throne room and the altar of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. You know, um, you may come in struggling, but I heard the woman of God, she said, you're leaving out with strategies. Amen. Strategies to overcome. Amen. To overcome every enemy that you face. And I want to leave you um, with this over in Exodus. Amen. I I just believe, you know, again, that this is a conference. Amen. God has said, you're exiting this place. You're exiting the hurt. Amen. You're exiting the pain. He got an exodus, exodus strategy for you. Amen. An exodus strategy for you. And I just believe, amen, that this conference is a part of your exodus strategy. Amen. So that you can move from faith to faith to glory to glory in the things of God. Hallelujah. As you come in one way, but leaving a total different way. Over in the book of Exodus chapter um, 14, um, Moses answered the people and he said, do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You just need to be still. So it is time, people of God, daughters of Zion, amen. Meet the powerful, dynamic women of God after your daughters are coming, destroying the mass, lifting the veil conference. So that you can lay out before the Father naked. 
so that every Egyptian, every place of bondage that has been holding you in captivity, so that you will never see them again, so that you can walk free, amen, and you can exit that place of hurt, pain, shame, disappointment, amen, um, that that place of frustration, that place of exit, that place of low self-esteem, lack of confidence. You can exit all those things, that place of rejection and um, helplessness and abandonment and, you know, addictions and all those different things that are keeping you from seeing the beauty that's within you, the things that are keeping you from walking and the glory of God moving and operating as he has created you. Amen. Fearfully and absolutely wonderfully. Amen. Glory to God as he diligently put you together in your mother's womb. There is greatness on the inside of you that is ready to be birthed out. Amen. Meet them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At Hurt Roads Baptist Church. 17 Hurt Road, Southwest Myrna, Georgia, 30082 on September the 8th, 2018 at 8 o'clock a.m. Amen. Your life is never going to be the same. You're going to meet them on Hurt's Road. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And they're getting ready to take you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. They're getting ready to take you and lead you. Amen. Down Healing Avenue. My God. Down Healing Avenue where you're going to be in a place where you can proclaim your promises and that you can fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for meeting us in the church on tonight, dynamic people of God. We want to thank all our listeners from around the world, throughout the nations, those that are on in the broadcast with us, those that are in the studio, amen, with us on the line, um, amen. We bless God for each and every last one of you as well. It has been a powerful time in the church as we've been dealing with lifting the veil, amen, in the church. We have been with our guests, none other than our minister Kaya Williams, and Dr. Jennifer Boyer. Amen. Hallelujah. As they, God is using them in the Your Daughters Are Coming, Destroying the Mass, Lifting the Veil Conference. God has strategically put a plan, amen, together for the Daughters of Zion. And the time is now. I am your host, Apostle Deron Shea Zorn. And I look forward to seeing you in the church next week in the majestic name of Jesus. With that being said, dynamic people of God, we're going to go in the love, joy, peace, favor, and the anointing of our most holy Savior, who is none other than Jesus Christ. And it is in his most holy and majestic name that we've convened in the church. Amen, amen, and amen to God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory to God in Jesus' name. What do you do when friends walk away and it seems like you're all left
glory, glory, glory.